can be hard to kick that sweet tooth, let me tell you about it. And with Halloween quickly approaching, now is the time to try. Courtney's getting in some tips from an expert. Yes, we've got Emmy Setrazivas with us, uh, nutrition expert from uh, Trifecta. Okay, so Emmy, I'm just going to say right now, I'm telling everybody's business. They've been talking about candy bars. Jordan says he bleeds sugar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cody walks oh, yeah. this, is, cloud. this is perfect timing for <laughs> Halloween. Everybody is about to just stock up on all this candy. So right. Well, <laughs> and if we're honest, you know, since the pandemic started, people we we've been comforting ourselves with food, and sugar yeah. is one of the things that's high on the list. And then we're going into the holiday season. So you say that there are ways to actually curb the the sugar cravings, but it has a lot to do with what you do prior to eating the sugar. Yeah, actually, so there's two main reasons that we crave sugar. There's a biological reason, and then there's a psychological reason. So if you, we crave sugar because it's a good source of energy. So if sure. you're under eating or you're cutting carbs like significantly low, you're automatically going to be craving carby foods like sugar. Yeah. So that's something to think about. If you're being super restrictive, that could be causing it. Um, and then for a lot of us, it's the psychological reason, which is that sugar just makes us feel really happy. It has a, we have a hormonal response to it. It can be super addictive. Um, and it's really easy to get caught in that trap of wanting to just continually satisfy yourself with sugary treats. Yeah. So once you can identify what's causing your cravings, then you can start to attack it and and uh, help reduce some of those cravings with different strategies. And you've got some tips. So you, you say to eat more nutritious foods. And one of those things you can eat is fruit because it is very sweet, right? Mm -hmm. And it, a yeah, good I'm mango really is just good. like eating candy. I, I agree, actually. I'm a big fan. <laughs> a lot of people, you know, don't love to hear the fruit instead of a candy bar because yeah. I, I understand it's not the same thing <laughs> but good nutrition does solve a lot of problems um, especially protein when it comes to sugar craving so increasing whole foods in your diet cutting out processed foods and increasing your protein intake can not only cut out a lot of the sugar naturally because mm -hmm. it's in a lot of uh, packaged foods yeah. but it can also the high protein can actually help reduce some of those cravings uh, so focusing on your nutrition and paying attention to what you're eating is always a great place to start. But there's also some mindfulness techniques you can do. Yeah. If you're feeling like you're super addicted to it, things like meditation, um, exercise, uh, you know, being more mindful about how you're eating, just kind of trying to enjoy your food, being more present, things like that can really help you tap into your mindset a bit more and you can get ahead of the psychological cravings uh, by being just more in tune with yourself. All right. And if you are hard in the paint, you can just quit the sugar cold turkey. We're going to link all the info to Trifecta to our website, GoodDaySacramento.com, under show info and today's date. Emmy, thank you so much for your time this morning. I'll go try to talk the guys off the ledge. I'll all right. <laughs> Bye, Courtney. Bye. No, the great thing about the fruit is you get all the sweetness without the self-loathing afterwards. See? And yeah. it's good fiber mm -hmm. content. Very I'm good. telling you, it's, mm -hmm. it's your friend. It's good. Cody's over there shaking. <laughs> <laughs> so cold. <laughs>